Oh, what's wrong, little kitty? Bad doggy. Oh, I understand. It wasn't a bad dog, but a bad experience of sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis? What? Sleep paralysis, little kitty. A condition everyone should learn about. So, friends, let's zoom in. So, what is this scary phenomenon called sleep paralysis? Well, in simple terms, it is a temporary inability to move or speak or a loss of muscle control while falling asleep or upon waking up. This loss of muscle control is also known as atonia and is a normal part of the sleep cycle during REM sleep when most dreams occur. It happens because you are in sleep mode and your body is relaxed but your brain is active. No matter how much you try, even if you consciously know that you are undergoing sleep paralysis, you can't wake your body up. A very few people can slightly move their fingers and wiggle their toes or facial muscles which eventually helps them wake up the rest of their body. But as we discussed, most people have to wait for the episode to end on its own. I know it sounds scary, but you'll be surprised to learn that sleep paralysis can be helpful at times. Yes, my dear friends, sleep paralysis is necessary to stop your muscles from responding to dreams and keeps you safe in bed until you wake up. Without it, there is a chance that during a nightmare, you might start kicking and punching around, eventually harming yourself or others. Though sleep paralysis is harmless to most, those who have encountered it have had terrifying experiences due to the unsettling nature of this condition. Yes, most people with this condition also have hallucinations, which are sensory experiences that appear real but are created by your mind. This can include out-of-body experiences like the feeling of flying, People may also feel pressure in their chest. Perhaps the scariest form of these hallucinations involves the presence of danger or someone around you, where in reality, there is nothing to be afraid of. But the vital question is, what causes sleep paralysis? Well, many factors can contribute to it including poor sleeping habits and certain medical conditions such as insomnia, PTSD, panic disorder and sleep apnea. People suffering from depression, anxiety and bipolar disorder are more likely to experience this. Although anyone at any age can get it once or twice in their life. However, it usually starts between the ages of 14 and 17. But how can we prevent sleep paralysis in the first place? Well, if someone doesn't have any underlying issue responsible for this condition, then making minor lifestyle adjustments can make a big difference to avoid this momentary paralyzing condition. This includes getting around 6 to 8 hours of sleep a day regularly. Make sure to go to bed at roughly the same time each night and get up at the same time each morning. Playing outdoor sports or exercising and meditating every day. And if things don't improve, please make sure to talk to your guardians and visit your doctor 
ASAP. Trivia time! Did you know a sleep paralysis episode can last between 20 seconds to a few minutes? Also, an estimated 75% of sleep paralysis episodes involve hallucinations that are different from typical dreams. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Kitty Smash Bad Doggy! Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs>